In this video, we will show you how to replace your fuel filter on this Mercury Grand Marquis between the year ranges of 2003 and 2011. The fuel filter will be located along the passenger side frame directly in front of that right rear tire. Let's get started. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing that I want to mention is you're going to have to make your way underneath the rear passenger side of the vehicle. So make sure you're in a safe area. The next thing that you will want to do is make your way under the hood. Right behind the battery is where you're going to find your fuse box. Go ahead and lift up on these two tabs along the driver's side of the cover. Once you have that up, we're going to be looking for this yellow 20 amp fuse right here. You can also locate it by using the legend on the inside of the cover looking under F4. We'll pull this right out of here. Whenever you remove a fuse, you want to give it a quick inspection. Make sure it doesn't look like it's burnt or damaged in any way. Now we'll leave this out of the fuse box and continue on by attempting to start the vehicle. What you'll find is typically the vehicle may start, but it's going to die right out. Or it just cranks over, but it does not start. That's a good sign. It means there's no pressure in the fuel system. Continue on to reinstalling your 20 amp fuse. Make sure you put it back into the original slot. Close your fuse box and the hood. Now you want to carefully make your way underneath the vehicle. We're looking for the fuel filter on the frame just in front of the passenger side rear tire. You need to make sure you have hand and eye protection and a collection bucket under this area. There could still potentially be fuel inside of the fuel system. With that said, to remove this, you're going to have to have a 5 16 fuel line removal tool. It looks like this. You can put it together and it'll slide right inside of this area to be able to disconnect it. Now the first thing we'll do is come right over here. We'll lift this straight up and remove this from the area. Continue on to using your 5 16 fuel line removal tool. Slide this right over the shaft of the fuel filter and press it in. While we're pressing that in, we're going to twist the fuel line a little bit. And now we can start pulling it away. And this is where fuel may come out of the area. Before we continue by removing the other side of the line, Continue on to removing the clamp right here. To do this, you can use a flathead screwdriver or an eight millimeter socket. We'll continue loosening this until it breaks free. Once that's loose, we'll continue on to this area. This is a locking clip. All you can see from this portion is the two back ears. This is what it looks like right here. And there's the two ears. With that said, use a small pick or a small screwdriver. Carefully get in between the white little ear there, gently pry it up and start pressing it away. Once you do one, do the same to the other. Now I can come in from the backside there and carefully remove that locking clip. Continue on by removing this side of the fuel line. Set those hoses aside. Now we can grab onto that fuel filter. It's a good idea to put your glove finger over the end so no fuel comes pouring out and continue on by sliding this up and out diagonally towards the front. There it is, friends. Okay, friend, let's get ready for our installation. Have a look at your brand new fuel filter. You'll find that it has an arrow. You wanna make sure that that arrow is facing up towards the engine. That's the direction of fuel flow. 
Let's carefully put this in place, bringing it down diagonally from the front towards the rear. Once it's in place, we'll continue on tightening down our clamp. Make sure the fuel filter is nice and snug so there's no way it can vibrate loose on you while you're driving down the road. Now we can install our white locking clip, paying attention to where my thumb is. You'll find that you have an area that protrudes downward. We want to make sure that we have that facing towards the rear of the vehicle as we slide this into position in the line. We'll take this and press it all the way in. I can see both of the ears sticking through here. Let's take this line and put it in position on the fuel filter. Press it in, listen for a click, give it a tug to make sure it's completely secured. This is extremely important. Continue on to the forward line. We'll slide this in once again, listening for a click and making sure that it's secure. Once you're sure that's secure, continue on with the lock. We'll bring this right over push it down over the fuel filter, and then lock it in. Double check each of those lines before you get out from under the vehicle. Okay friends, we fully installed our fuel filter. At this point, slide out from under the car and attempt to start the vehicle. What you'll find is typically it takes a couple extra cranks before it actually starts. That's because it needs to build up fuel pressure in the system. After it starts running, make your way under here and double check for fuel leaks. Assuming that looks good, go ahead and take it for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.